Hello to my BMW people. Well, I have a minor issue on my vehicle where I'm unable to see my oil level on the iDrive. So we're going to try to diag the issue and see what's going on. So I have my Carly um, app hooked up here and it's hooked up to the OBD2. And so let's go ahead and hit diagnostics. see what's going on here so right now it's just checking all the modules so wow it is coming up with some faults and we're about to see what they are okay all right so right off the bat it's showing me advanced communication intelligent battery sensor malfunction otherwise known as the IBS. And it gives you the code there. Scroll through. BSD communication missing. Intelligent battery sensor, wake up line, electric cable disruption. Coolant pump speed is out of tolerance. Great. So it all has to do with this IBS sensor here. It's a minor issue. I mean, the vehicle is so smart that let's say you were running out of oil. So there's still an oil pressure sensor and the vehicle is going to let you know that you need to add oil. So that's how smart your BMWs are. I went to go confirm it at BMW just to try to figure it out because looking at these codes here, IBS, BSD, communication, like it doesn't even tell me anything about like the oil level sensor. So I went to BMW. And in fact, confirmed that yes, the IBS sensor has something to do with it. So there's your answer. The IBS sensor has something to do with you not being able to check your oil level in the iDrive. So probably going to need to be replaced. Is it a major issue right now because the vehicle's running smooth and perfect? No. And the IBS sensor, I mean, it's on your negative terminal. It should be an easy job, no problem. Let me talk about what exactly is this intelligent battery sensor called the BMW IBS. Basically, it's a mechatronic component that's always monitoring the battery, even when the vehicle is sleeping. It's connected to the negative terminal, and it has a whole bunch of data uh, going back and forth from the DME and basically calculates uh, voltage. And what he wants to do is, is calculate the state of charge, state of health of the battery. Uh, there's a bunch of, you know, things I can go on into this, but basically a lot, a lot of the issues, if, if this IBS in my vehicle really, really had an issue, the vehicle wouldn't even start. Um, so I don't, I don't really understand what's going on. Maybe there's a poor connection somewhere, or maybe it's something that I need to check out in the cables. I can start there first. It's not a very expensive part, by the way, but um, you definitely just need to like check it out, check out the cables, um, is everything okay? And then uh, maybe try to clear the codes and go from there. If, if the codes come back on, then obviously that IBS uh, intelligent battery sensor needs to be replaced. Uh, whether I do it myself or bring it to BMW, um, it's not a big deal to bring something like that to BMW, especially when it has to do with the battery. So as, as you can see here, I mean, the thing is even monitoring the, the coolant, the engine coolant pump. All of that is tied into this, uh, IBS, DME, information, operation. I mean, there's nothing wrong with my water pump. It, it runs perfectly fine, but this thing is connected to it and, who knows, it could be a major issue down the line. So this is something you probably want to get to um, as soon as possible. Um, but still, at this moment, it is a minor issue. Um, so I am definitely going to get you know, this replaced or replace it myself. But I definitely want to at least check out the cables some more. Um, as you can see, nothing, nothing in here states anything about... Um, 
like the oil level sensor or anything. So there's nothing wrong with the oil level sensor. Now, I did go to BMW and they did confirm that this is the issue. So if, if it's anybody's advice, I, I'd take theirs and, and, you know, they're the experts. So, um, so that's, that's a clear confirmation. IBS is the reason that if you have the same issue, you're unable to check your oil, even after driving, you know, the vehicle got up to operated temperature and everything. Cause that's the only time the oil level sensor is going to read out your oil on the I drive. Uh, so the IBS is to blame here and it clearly states it right on this diagnostic tool. Carly is a great tool to have. You can diag, uh, you can customize. I use it. I have a subscription yearly. It just renews itself. It's like $60 a year. Not too bad. And, um, it's a great tool to have, especially if you have a vehicle like this. Um, because just going run into the dealer, you can spend anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars for them to just check something silly like this out. I'm pleased to know that it's only an IBS sensor and nothing more expensive. All right, so before thinking I need to replace the IBS, I'm gonna do a little visual inspection. So the IBS is right over here where the light is on. Okay, it's a microprocessor right on the negative terminal. There should be a wire right here that's going to ground underneath this trim. And there should be another wire that's going in here in connection in the positive uh, distributor box here. There's a lot of information that I can go over the IBS, but I'm gonna do that after inspection. This is a 10 mil. Now, whenever working around the battery, I wanna make sure you're safe and um, wear glasses, gloves, whatever. Pretty good. Well, you know what? I really don't see a problem with the way it's connected here. Everything seems to be connected properly. You have this wire here going right into here and it seems fine. The ground is, is connected. It's behind this trim and now um, I can, I can pretty much see it connected properly, no corrosion or anything. So maybe the microprocessor in here is just a little faulty itself. It's storing faulty codes. So I did a little bit more research on the repair manual. This is a very delicate device. Um, and there's, there could be a lot of reasons why it's storing some faulty codes. So I'm gonna go over those reasons. One reason, this thing can't be, it's a very delicate device. And I know from the history of this vehicle that it did have shocks and struts that needed to be replaced. So the vehicle may have been driving on a lot of bumpy roads and possibly cause the fault onto this delicate microprocessor here. Um, that's one reason. The second reason, this battery is a newer battery than what was in there before, and it may have been changed, but not registered. So that's another reason why uh, the microprocessor could be storing um, some faulty codes. Uh, the third reason is uh, there is a ground wire next to the engine that's a little bit corroded from what BMW said when I went in for service, could be corroded. So that could be another reason. Uh, but I think the main reason is the shocks and struts and the replacement battery here. Um, basically, if the voltage calculations are off somehow with the microprocessor, it's going to throw in some codes and by replacing the battery, not registering it, uh, you can you can probably possibly get some faults from the DME just because of that reason. Because the microprocessor in that IBS system there, the, it's basically giving off information on everything about the battery, the the health of the battery, the charge status, even the temperature. Uh, so if anything's like mis misleading, uh, it's gonna store in some codes and possibly cause even more problems. Um, but what I did learn from my reading is that there's nothing I can do. Uh, it's, it's a pretty easy thing for me to fix and replace, but at the end of the day, you need a BMW scan tool to update the software with the current DME status. It needs to all be updated. Um, 
in conjunction with each other, the IBS and the DME current information. And I can't do that. <laughs> only BMW, you can only use a BMW scan tool to do that. And I don't have one. I have a scanner, tells me all the faults and everything, but that's not a approved BMW scanner. So uh, at the end of the day, if I need to replace that IBS sensor, it needs to be done at the dealer. At the end of the day, like I said earlier in the video, this is a minor issue right now. It's not a major issue. If uh, there was really problems where the vehicle's not starting, then that would be a major issue. And even if it was not starting, what you would need to do is unplug the micro sensor and basically plug it how it's supposed to be anyways, and the vehicle will start again. But the thing is, uh, the, the lifespan of the battery may be at risk because that's the whole reason of the IBS sensor is to give the battery the chance to live a long life. It's all in the hands of BMW. I'll have to take that in and get that replaced and the ground wire replaced and uh, that should solve this issue. I even took it took it apart a little bit just to see if there's any anything wrong. I don't see anything. Took that out of here. Took this out of here. Leave some comments on what you know about the IBS sensor. I, I seem to have learned a lot about it. And um, it is very vital in the vehicle. Uh, it can cause some issues, some electrical problems if not treated properly. Uh, so keep an eye out on it and um, have it replaced when you can. Comment, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Oh,